a nation that loves fast food, the UK, and probably every country in the world. But is reviewing it a good thing or a bad thing? Let's discuss it here on Scott Reviews Things. Hello again and welcome back to Scott Review Things. How are you doing? I hope this video finds you in good spirit and good health. Now, this is a subject that another one I've been thinking of for a little while. And it's the subject of fast food reviews on YouTube. Primarily, obviously, my channel is a YouTube channel. Got a podcast as well if you're interested. Scott's Big Mouth. Go give that a look. You can find that on all good uh, podcast downloads and some shit ones as well. So if you don't subscribe to Scott's Big Mouth podcast, don't give that some love as well. Uh, I like the podcast, and it's the same as fucking YouTube. But you don't see this glorious face. You just hear this wonderful monotone voice. So, but yeah, food reviews. Beer reviews, obviously that's what this channel has predominantly done for five years. Started off with beer, then did other bits and pieces, did some cooking when Wanda was involved, did some um, fast food. And it's big the question, because when you put fast food on a channel, you get comments of, oh, it's shit. Uh, you're promoting an unhealthy lifestyle, etc, etc, etc. Oh, you only do it for money, McDonald's Wednesday, etc, etc. Et and it, it sparked, uh, is reviewing fast food, is it bad? Is it a bad thing? So, in this country, predominantly, I mean, America, you've got all a wave of things that we don't get in England and the UK. Predominantly in the UK, we have McDonald's, <clears throat> Burger King, KFC, probably, and then you've got Domino's, uh, Papa John's, Pizzas, you've got the Pizza Hut, I suppose you could technically call Greg's, that's much fast food, isn't it, Greg's, you've got Subway, you've got a Wendy's now, you've got Tim, does Tim Hortons count? We don't have a Tim Hortons around here. Um, Taco Bell, and you've got all of these wonderful, weird and wonderful, generally American companies, let's be honest, uh, which is convenience food. Now, when I was a lad, um, a McDonald's was seen as a treat, a nice treat. I mean, I, I'm, I might have mentioned it, I'm 49 years old. So, we would see McDonald's as a treat. I don't think that's the same anymore. I think... Obviously, the prices have skyrocketed on all of these things. Um, but I think that, so from my point of view, probably, there's a nostalgia. <coughs> Excuse me. A nostalgia aspect to McDonald's and KFC. Wanda absolutely loves the KFC. Um, we've, got Wim we've got a Wimpy in Pompey, but the Wimpy is extortionately expensive. So, and by far, probably the cheapest of the the meal deal things is probably McDonald's, even though their prices have shot over shot up over the years. The Big Mac used to be like this big, and now it's like this big. Um, but it's the the whys and wherefores of buying one of these products, sitting and turning the camera on and discussing it with you whether i think it's any good because ultimately it doesn't matter if i think it's any good the fact that these companies make billions a year that's all they need to know if i sit in a slate at mcdonald's then ultimately it means or a, or a burger king or a kfc that means nothing to them it's jack shit to them they're getting the publicity anyway that their their marketing campaign is monumental and i don't make my money back on and I personally, generally, don't make my money back on the video. So, 
it's, it's a funny thing, isn't it? So on 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 this channel, predominantly we do McDonald's reviews on the McDonald's Wednesday. If it's if it's interesting, because let's be honest, the uh, the research and development team of McDonald's was coming up with new and inventive ideas in the UK. Um, he might as well be on a permanent holiday because there's no innovation. There's nothing exciting. It'll be like the, the latest one. We've got the double Big Mac, which we've had before that. We had then before that we had the hat trick burger, which was just a big cheeseburger with three bits of three patties in it. But it doesn't take a lot of creativity to come up with some of this shit. Um, but I know it roils some people that people do mcdonald's um we have probably done one or two burger kings over the time again burger king very expensive kfc i've probably done a couple of kfc's again a box meal now is probably nothing short of a tenner so there's a cost factor on this and it comes down to also um available availability around by us we've got a mcdonald's uh, and I'll get into McDonald's a little bit because predominantly this could be read about McDonald's. But fast food in general is—is is it okay or is it wrong to review and promote fast foods on YouTube? Uh, I've done some Greggs. I don't think I've ever done a Subway. And the reason I've never done a Subway is I find it offensive to pay six pound for a roll. <laughs> and that's that's just me. I know Subway do some. Uh, they do other things. They do um, skin on fries and uh, what. And the other thing that really pisses me off is some of these companies. They do things up north as trials. And they don't come south. For some of the stuff, I'd actually really like to try. Um, so that, that's that's a bit annoying. But you've got some really good review channels that actually don't do a great deal of fast foods. Gary Eats. Absolutely love watching Gary Eats. And this isn't um, trying to gain subs from Gary Eats. Genuinely watch Gary. And he does a lot of fish and chips. He does a lot of he does high-end um food i watched a really good video of his yesterday when he's talking about youtube earnings because there are a couple of things gone on um that i've seen over the last few months where these channels overestimate how much people actually make and this this channel that gary was speaking about yesterday reckoned he earned nineteen thousand dollars a month i mean where they get their figures from is absolutely incredible to me and then because he's got some hate and negativity from that video he felt the need to come out and do a video. I, I just find it incredible, didn't they? What people earn is no one's fucking business, ultimately. But so he doesn't do a, a huge amount of, of um, fast food. He concentrates on going to the restaurants, and it's absolutely fantastic. Really enjoy it. Um, and then you've got the Mac Master, you've got Bull Food, you've got Dave Blue Van Man, who still goes on and does his food reviews every now and then. But again, generally, he used to do lots of fish and chip reviews, but they seem to have bypassed and he does his political stuff now. Um, <coughs> and there's no doubt, Simon from uh, Real Ale Craft Beer, he jumped onto the, the food uh, wagon and it does, I think he, he said at some point that he was almost willing to quit the beer because the food does so well. I'm glad he hasn't because I've done a whole video on whether I think the food, uh, the beer reviews is... Uh, a dying thing or not but the fast food thing it is very it's a very prickly subject uh, uh, i find that it really does divide people on what they want to see there's some very forceful comments other channels criticize um channels for doing mcdonald's and KFC and Burger King. Don't see a great deal of Burger King um, review, new Burger King food reviews. Maybe that's because I'm searching for the wrong thing. Obviously, you get into a a place where you watch the same people. We've all got our own subscriber uh, subscription list that we like watching because we like the personality of that person. Um, so I think it's an interesting subject. Is it? Uh, we don't have a huge amount of fast food it's got review things hates waters wanda cooks a lot from pinch of nom done a lot of pinch of nom cooking videos uh, with wanda um she cooks a lot of stuff from scratch do we a lot of fast food i can't remember the last time we did a burger king probably the burger king video and the last burger king i had was when i did a review of their breakfast 
menu because we've got one up at the petrol station the, the the only place that does the burger king breakfast um kfc it was probably the fries when they changed the fries to the season fries um greg's i've done a couple of greg's videos on the greg's menu generally around christmas i don't do a lot of greg's during the year um subway so i've never done anything i've done a couple of pizzas I'm not a, i have to be really in the mood for a pizza um it's just and then i gravitate towards the dominoes i'm not a, a, a fantastic lover of the others again you can have your favorite pizza place what's your favorite pizza place i picked these up yesterday these are actually cold because the thing for me is we've got busy lives sometimes we don't want to be cooking we got things going on this weekend this makes this weekend and this week very very busy and sometimes it's easier just to think oh fuck it i'm just gonna get, a, get a, um, generally it will be in our case at mcdonald's now is mcdonald's the best food out there no it's not but it's and it's not as cheap as it used to be so where it used to be take the kids up the, the McDonald, uh, mcdonald's for a, a quick easy cheap meal it ain't cheap anymore um the nutrition value now you would have seen probably hopefully you'll see the fact that um by the end of next week i'm starting running again because this channel hasn't been good for my health <laughs> ultimately because it's it's increased my beer intake it's um not so much food so i, I eat fairly well but it's generally beer but then i don't drink a huge amount of beer anymore but i have it when i first started the channel there was a need to get new beer show it to you um so i was spending stupid amounts of money on beer and so that's not helped so I'm, I'm up to 17 stone and that's unacceptable so i've got to start living a slightly healthier lifestyle i've got a year it's called the race to 50. go and watch the video if you haven't seen it yet don't eat a lot of fast food but i do like the interest of a mcdonald's wednesday i have to be i have to be honest I, there was there was a there was a time and i'm going to be completely honest again that i'd like to get it out before simon because me and simon had a tempestuous relationship should we call it um i'm very happy that that now been put to bed so i would like to get to a mcdonald's and get out before him just just for my own personal gratification i don't do that anymore um, but i do like the the intrigue of what's coming out in mcdonald's you've got these new things these are the um what are they the cheese cheese garlic cheese dipper bites or garlic bread cheesy dipper bites so the, we bought these last night at the mcdonald's last night because we were running around getting things done i haven't tried, tried one yet because i've got a wonder they're a bit chewy uh, but actually they're really nice So I'm asking the question, is it wrong to review fast food on a YouTube channel when I'm sitting in the McDonald's? The irony. But they're nice actually, but they're not cheap. If you if you haven't tried them, if you like garlic and cheese and cheesy garlic bread, they're fabulous. Probably nice and warm, but then they've obviously marinated overnight, might have one. Um so yeah, I've lost my train of thought now because I've just been eating one of them. Um, so there's a cost cost aspect to it. There's um, you've got Uber Eats, you've got Just Eat, you've got all of these people now that bring it to your door. I know you've got things like restaurants and Indians and Chinese and all the other fantastic food that we've got in this country now, and the channels that show that as well. I, I like watching those sort of things as well. But I say I, I like generally on a Monday we take Hugo training. Um, that's till half five at night we don't want to be coming back and cooking so we might have a mcdonald's on a monday not every monday and say so you've got to look at the health benefits benefits as well wonder so she look really likes cooking from scratch from this pigeon on book she's got every pigeon on book in there um so is it wrong for channels to showcase what's out there i know if i put a mcdonald's on the the channel on the wednesday it comes out so the next one will be i think it's september the 7th somewhere around there i know that i do very well 
it might make me my money back. Is that a bad thing? Is is YouTube being using YouTube to recoup some of your outlay? Is that a bad thing as well? I don't think it is. YouTube's a monetized platform. Why wouldn't you? And I know there are people out there that don't monetize their channel because you have to have a thousand subscribers, four thousand watch hours, and all this bollocks. But why wouldn't you? Um, if that's your inclination, this channel's never gonna be. I've got a proper job. I work eight till four five days a week monday to friday that pays the bills that pays the mortgage i will pay the mortgage with wonder um and feed the kids feed me and wonder this this is still my hobby but i get a little bit of back for, from it and always pay monthly for the 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 outlay that i've done for it does a mcdonald's help towards that yeah it does i'll be completely honest about that i think that's only fair and and right to do so and there's, I say, there are good channels out there. The Mac Master, I don't think he reviews a great deal of fast food, but you've got people that do, and they do well from it. Um, business practices, I don't care. I don't care about business practices. Oh, you review it, oh, they're fucking rapists. I don't care. I'm not interested. I just, sometimes I want something quick and easy to eat. And you know what, you get your, the thing about McDonald's, and this is probably all going to be about McDonald's, um, is you get your apps, and I know they've all got their apps, okay, so you've got an app, Burger King got their app, so you build your points up, and you get freebies every now and then. You get more freebies from that than you get from fucking Tesco's and Sainsbury's and Asda and all their cards, so I don't think that's a bad thing either, if I'm honest. Um, but they're lovely. <laughs> I've got a really nice garlicky taste in my mouth now, whilst we go in for another one. So what do you think? Is reviewing fast food is it a bad thing is it irresponsible is it an irresponsible thing for me or any other um, social media outlet to show you what's currently available because you might not know people don't know wonder does a lot of the research for me um from new foods uk snack foods and all that so she'll say oh this is coming out this is coming out do you want to go and do it and i'll be like and i'll look at it and think yeah maybe mate now i'm not interested in that um do a lot of crisp reviews love love crisps especially the marmite stuff um, they're not good for you either, but then is there a is there a stigma more with these bigger companies than is with certain snack foods? That's a question to ask, isn't it? Um, one of the biggest um, videos on our channel is guessing the Cadbury's chocolate flavour. The Cadbury's chocolate isn't particularly good for you. Beer isn't good for me, but I do a fair amount of beer reviews. They've cut down a little bit. Because um, I don't drink as much as I did when I first started this channel. Never been an alcoholic. I have used beer for sleep dependency. I'll be very honest about that. And I've managed to sort that out. But I was going through divorce at the time. So we're all in different stages of things that we like. And it's your own channel. Ultimately, you can put on what you want. And you, the viewer, you choose to watch whatever you want to watch. I've got no notes. This is another one that's completely unscripted, completely off the top of my head. It's another fucking ramble. Absolute ramble. But I think it's an interesting question. Am I irresponsible for putting, putting um, gem, generally saturated, fast, fatty foods on the channel? Is it an ir irresponsibility? Or is it just something that you can sit and watch, make up a decision. You might watch it for the character. I watch Gary Eats because I like Gary Eats. I watch Greeno Eats. I like him as well. I like Dave. There's all sorts out there. Um, so I'm going to get back to my cheese box. <laughs> get back to my cheese box there. I only have a couple because I'm trying to watch my weight. I'm going to leave some for Wanda. That's only fair. So what do you think? Interesting. It's an interesting subject. Obviously, beer reviews. Beer is... The calorific intake um, content of beer is completely fucking useless because the body doesn't process beer, the calories in beer, the same way. So I can't sit here and say, yeah, it's wrong to review fucking uh, fast foods and then sit here and review a beer because that would make me a massive hypocrite. And one thing I'm not is a hip, well, probably am. Probably am. And you'll say, oh, it's, it's, that's absolutely fine. I really enjoy the comments. Leave some death threats as well. They're always funny. Um, so what do you think? Uh, interested in uh, your your comments about fast food, the the price of fast food these days, uh, YouTube channels that showcase it. Are they wrong? Um, it's an interesting subject. Let me know in your comments what you think. 
If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button to Scott Reviews things somewhere. Have a great... I don't know when it's going to be out, this video. If, if it's a weekend, have a great weekend. If it isn't, have a great week. Um, I'll see you soon. Take it easy.